human eye. You are able to see this beautiful world with eyes. In this lesson you will learn about, inner structure and working of human eye. The human eye is like a camera. Light enters the eye through a, transparent membrane called, cornea. Behind the cornea is a muscular diaphragm called, iris. Which has an opening called pupil. The pupil controls, the amount of light entering the eye. The eye lens, which is a convex lens, helps to focus the image of objects, on the retina. The ciliary muscles, helps to change the curvature of the lens, and to change its focal length. This lens system forms an image, on a light-sensitive screen called, retina. The light-sensitive cells in the retina, then produce electrical signals, which are carried by, the optic nerves to the brain, and we register the image. Now let us see some important terms with respect to the eye. Power of accommodation of the eye. The ability of the eye lens to see both near, and distant objects by adjusting its, focal length is called, the power of accommodation of the eye. The ear point. The minimum distance at which the eye can see objects clearly, is called the near point, or least distance of distinct vision. For a normal eye it is 25 cm from the eye. Far point. The farthest distance up to which the eye can see objects, clearly is called, the far point of the eye. For a normal eye it is infinity. Defects of vision. Some people have problem in seeing nearby objects, and some can't see far off objects. So they wear spectacles. This is due to the fact that, they might be suffering, from the defects of eye. Common defects of eye are. 1. Short-sightedness, or myopia. 2. Long-sightedness, or hypermetropia. 3. Presbyopia. Defects of the eye myopia. Myopia is also known as, short-sightedness. Myopia is a defect of vision, in which a person can see, nearby objects clearly, but cannot see, distant objects clearly. Myopia can arise due to following reasons. 1. Increase in curvature of the eye lens. 2. Increase in the length of the eyeball. For normal eye, image of an object is always formed on, retina. But for a person suffering from myopia, image of an object is formed, before retina. So for him near point of the eye increases, and he is unable to see the object clearly. Myopia can be corrected, by using concave lens, of suitable focal length. Concave lens diverges the rays, from a far off object. So that they appear to come from far point, oh, of the defective eye, and a sharp image is formed on retina. Defects of the eye, hypermetropia. Hypermetropia is also known as, long-sightedness. Hypermetropia is a defect of vision, in which a person can see, distant objects clearly, but cannot see nearby objects clearly. Hypermetropia can arise due to following reasons. 1. Decrease in curvature of eye lens. 2. Decrease in the length of the eyeball. For normal eye, image of an object is always formed on, retina. But for a person suffering from hypermetropia, image of an object is formed, after retina. So for him far point of the eye increases, and is unable to see that. Hypermetropia is corrected by using, convex lens. The lens converges the rays from an object at 25 cm, such that the rays, appear to come from the near point of the defective eye. The eye then forms a sharp image of the object on the retina. Defects of the eye, presbyopia. Presbyopia. The power of accommodation of the eye, usually decreases with aging. The near point gradually recedes away. Presbyopia arises due to, the gradual weakening of the, ciliary muscles, and diminishing flexibility, of the eye lens.